Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another video on this channel. So someone asked me, can you show us how to make a logo in Photoshop? And I said, why not? So in this video, I will show you how you can create a simple logo inside of Photoshop. I know this is not a very complex logo, but if you're just getting started on YouTube and you need a logo, I think this will help you out. So before I begin with this video, if you are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in Photoshop and the first thing that we are going to do is just simply create a really nice background. So in order to do that, just simply click on this icon so that it will unlock this layer. And after that, you can click on this paint bucket. And if you want, you can just click and hold. And if you want, you can go with the gradient tool if you want to add some really nice gradient. But for this one, we are going to use a solid color. So just click on this and you can pick a really nice off white color. Something like this. Just click over here and now you can see we have added a really nice white color. So our next step is to add some shapes. So in order to do that, we are going to use the shape tool. So if you click and hold, you can see we have different tools option. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool. So click on ellipse tool and now you can click anywhere you want. And if you hold on shift, you can see that it will start creating a perfect circle, which is exactly what we want. So you can just create a circle however big you want just like this and you will notice that it has a really thick stroke so if you want you can just click here and just lower it down to something like let's say 15 yeah this looks good and also if you want you can enable the fill you can click over here and you can pick whatever color you want so I'm going to try to match the color with the background just select the background color just click on ok or if you want you can pick whatever color you want it is completely up to you now let's select the circle and just align it in the center of this area and if you want you can also change the color so just select the tool shape tool and from here you can pick whatever color you want and over here you can see we have some custom color palette so from here I am choosing this darker purple color just like this and now we are going to add another shape so just simply click and you can select the rectangle tool again if you want you can just click and hold down the shift and it will create a perfect square which is exactly what we want so if you let it go you can see we have this stroke effect and you can also change its color so i'm going to use the same color and you can just place it wherever you want just like this and from here we can move this layer down the ellipse layer so you can see we have this kind of effect and if you want you can just align it so that it looks perfect something like this now you can press ctrl t make sure that the triangle rectangle is selected now you can press ctrl t and from here you can hold down the shift key and you can just rotate the edges however you want so this looks good and now we are going to add our text so you can choose the text tool by simply clicking over here and make sure none of the layer is selected. So you can just click and you can type whatever text you want. So I'm going to type my channel initials which are MN for motion nations. So I can just simply double click and again I can pick whatever color I want. But just because we are going with the same look I'm going to choose this one. Just like that and you can probably place it in the middle of your scene. Now if you want you can scale it up so you can select the layer and press ctrl T and now you can just simply scale it up something like this and if you want you can hold down the alt or option key if you are on Mac and now you can see we have our logo so just scale it however big you want so I think this looks good just click on ok and now you can see we have our logo so again if you want you can just verify that it's in the center so yeah this is in the center so now we are pretty much done with the logo and let's add a quick text so you can just select the text tool again you can see that i'm using this go bold extra font and i can type motion nations and again i can just simply select it and place it in the center something like this and if you want you can just double click it and from here you can scale it down 
to however big you want so let's just make it 15 pixels something like this and again you can select it and if you want you can also select the layer which is our background and from here you can select both the layers and from here you can just align them just like this now you can select the text layer and you can just use the arrow keys to move it up something like this and now you can see that we have finished our logo so you can quickly select all these layers by holding down the shift key and from here you can just click on this icon so that it will add it into a group you can just double click it and just rename it to logo now we can simply select it and press ctrl t and now you can just move it somewhere around here wherever you want also i'm going to add my website over here so you can just simply select the text tool and you can type your website name again for this one we are going to make it really small so just make sure that the text is selected and you can from here change down its size something like this and now you can place it wherever you want if you want you can place it below your logo text and if you want you can place it somewhere around here and now you can see we have created our logo and if you want you can export it into a png file and you can use it later on so if you want to do that you can just simply remove the background and if you want you can also remove this text and now you can just simply go to file export and you can export to a quick png format also if you want just make it a square size you can just simply create a new and just type whatever size you want so let's say we want 1000 by 1000 just click on create and from here you can go to the previous project and just select the logo press ctrl c and if you come here you can press ctrl v now you can see we have our logo so you can select the bottom layer if you want you can just simply delete it just click on yes and now you can see we have our logo so you can just select it so you can just select it press ctrl t and let's just quickly scale it up by while holding down the alt key something like this now you can see we have square aspect ratio for our logo so you can export this one to a quick png as well just like this and later on you can use it wherever you want so this is how you can create a quick logo in photoshop again this is not a really complex logo but if you are just getting started and you need a logo and i think this will do the work so i hope you learned something from this video the project files for this one are available on patreon if you want you can support me over there and in return you will get different rewards based on your tier so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one